Welcome to Fetch and Grove. Today's score was Leverhead three, sorry, Leverhead two, Chipstead three, and here we have the new Leverhead manager, Hayden Bird. Um, disappointing result, but first of all, Hayden, I want to be positive. I understand that the question and answer session with the fans was very positive in midweek. Yeah, really nice to meet everybody. Everybody's given me a fabulous reception for which I'm thankful for. And it was nice to meet everybody on Wednesday. Nice to meet everybody. It was a nice evening. Yeah. And why, why Why? did you choose Leverhead? For you, it's almost like a step down in levels. So was there any particular reason why Leverhead? Well, I think, you know, it, of course it is a step down in the level that I've been working. But there's no doubt of the history of the club, the stature of the club and the size of the club. And I think it's a great challenge to take on. Mm -hmm. Clearly, it's a big mm -hmm. challenge, and I've made no secret that it's going to take time. But I think it's a, it's a challenge that we can embrace and look forward to. Yeah. And with regards to today's game, how do you think that went? You know, both. I think both halves were very different. Obviously, I don't want to put words into your mouth, but obviously, I think it was a game of two halves without using too many cliches. I think. I think today, as I said uh, to the supporters in the week. It was a day where I didn't have any expectations. We needed to see where we were. What's clear is that the players have embraced a completely new way of playing. Mm -hmm. They've taken that on board. The positives of today is the team have created chances, probably up to 10 good goal-scoring opportunities today. But, of course, the defining moment in the game was when 2-0 went to 2-1. I think then we lost control emotionally of, of our work. We had a mad 10 minutes. Um, I, think, I think that in a way that criticism comes with a compliment because they did that because instead of dusting themselves down and carrying on, the boys were so desperate to win. Uh, a little bit of anxiety crept in. And that can happen, so I'm not phased by that. Do you think that was out of character? Because I felt it very strange that we were coasting... With, say, half an hour left, it was almost like 2-0, the sun came out, then I felt we relaxed a bit. So do you feel it was very much out of character to concede three goals in the space of, say, 15 minutes? Well, I think it's a credit to the players and a compliment to the players that you described it as they were coasting. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, that's, uh, that's something that you can look in, in in a positive way, strangely. What I wouldn't describe it as coasting, I would say that they were in total control of the game. But... You know, ultimately, I would look at today in a day of many positives, and I would say that we just showed that we need to be better in both boxes because we've created a number of very, very good goal scoring opportunities. You know, let's be fair, it could have been two or three at half time, may maybe even more. But ultimately, we've made quite serious mistakes ourselves defensively. Chips did are a good team, they've punished us. And I think, like I say, it's part of the process that, that you go through and it's not something that I'm concerned with. I also feel that we've now scored a league goal at home, which, believe it or not, was our first league goal of the season. Um, cup games aside, so I think there, that's another positive, surely. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, of course. I, I, I think, again, if you, look at, if, if you look at the team in the past and they've been a little bit starved of goals, today we've scored... Uh, two good goals, uh, one from a free kick, obviously, which which arrived from a decent passage of play. But importantly, we've created chances and we've created a number of chances. And in creating chances, we caused some problems and probably the game should have been over at mm -hmm. half-time. Mm -hmm. But a credit to Chips did. You know, Rob is he's a good coach, he's a good manager and, and he's, got his, he's got his team well drilled there and they've punished us. Mm -hmm. So let's mm -hmm. give... Let's give Chips did some credit as well. They deserve it. Um, and we congratulate them on their victory. And for me, I would say that um, the players have been brilliant all week. The reception they've, been, they've given me is tremendous. They've worked really hard all week. And I think you've seen a glimpse of the future in the way that Leatherhead are now going to play, how Leatherhead are going to pass the ball, and how Leatherhead are going to carve open opportunities. So... If we're going to play like that, we just got to keep the back door shut, keep us nice and tight. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed for the team that they haven't won. But uh, personally, I'm quite philosophical and um, can see the good things in the performance. I think the other interesting thing is, although it was a game full of goals, 
the man of the match chosen by our under 15s academy team was our number six, um, our centre back. So I think that's another interesting aspect as well to build on is the fact, although we we let him three goals, we still had some good performances in the defence. What was Keane not the man of the match? He was number six. Um, sorry, yeah, sorry, not yeah. Yeah, I mean I think the centre halves. Um, uh, have done well. There's the, there's a there's a real player in Ben. There's no doubt. And Reese is someone that's quite influential and pivotal mm-hmm. in the dressing room. Uh, and I think there's a big scope for improvement in those players. Young Keane is an excellent prospect. Uh, and I've asked him to do one or two things this week that he's really embraced. And he's a player that I can see is going to be a real asset to Leatherhead moving forward. So pleased for him that he's been uh, rewarded with the man of the match. That's fantastic to hear and delighted to interview. One last question. How much time do you think you'll need to really sort of like stamp your own identity, personality on the team and the club, you know, in terms of training sessions, matches played, etc.? How much time do you think realistically you're going to need? Well, I think that's sort of been done already to, mm-hmm. a, to a large degree. Um, you know, if, if you see the way the players are working in training, if you see the way that the team played and the playing principles on the pitch today is that they've certainly looked at a new way and embraced a new way of playing. The, I think um, the more poignant answer is when do you turn that into results? And, you know, like, like I said in the fans forum, I had no expectations today. It's important to see where we, where we are in a game situation. And I've seen many positives. I have no expectations of where we are in two or three weeks, but in two or three months... I'll be expecting big things from the players. There'll be big demands on the players. And in two or three months, I would expect Leatherhead to be challenging the playoff positions. But there is a process that you have to go through. When you play this way, when you play my way, there's no quick fix. You have to be patient. You have to understand there's going to be mistakes. You have to understand when you are working with with players with a little inexperience, um, there, there comes a little naivety. And you have to understand when you're going to be expansive, then, you know, you might in the next few weeks see a few three twos, four threes, five fours, but I think the nil nils will definitely have gone. Um, but I've got to tell you, I'm really excited to be here. I'm really excited with the work of the players. We need to improve. We will improve. And I've absolutely no doubt that Leatherhead will go on and have an excellent season. Well, on behalf of Leatherhead Football Club, I would just like to say we are more than happy to have you and you're most welcome. And now I'm just going to hand over to my colleague, Chloe, who has three more questions very Thank briefly you. for I'm you. pleased to be here. Nice you're to welcome. meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, so you've already said that you think the fans forum went well. What do you think, from your point of view, it was that made it go so smoothly? I think Leatherhead have good people. Um, you know, I saw... I saw the real Leatherhead on Wednesday and I saw a group of supporters, I think probably as many as around 60, I think, were, were, were in the room. And in, in the 60 people, they were the Leatherhead faithful. They were the Leatherhead supporters that have probably um, been around the place and seen the highs and they've seen the lows. And I saw a group of supporters that want Leatherhead to do well, which we all do. So there was a common goal in the dressing room for Leatherhead to improve and for Leatherhead to challenge for promotion and titles. Yeah, so we lost today. Obviously, it was quite a good win. We've definitely improved since you've joined. But how long do you think it will take the players to adjust into your new way of football? And how do you think they did that today? Well, it's going to take a while. And, and there's no hiding behind that. I'm not going to sit here and say that there's a quick fix because there's not. But we have time. You know, we, we've played, I think we've played eight games. We have time. So there's no need to panic. There's no need to rush. I think the players in the dressing room deserve every opportunity to be part of Leatherhead's future. And the reception and the response they've given me, I'm committed to giving them that opportunity. So I think that you'll see players come in, uh, when we need them, it won't be en masse, we'll drip feed them in as we have done already. Um, but I think that you'll see the team evolve and develop and we'll get better and better and better and better. Yep, so finally we've got a trophy game on Tuesday against East Grinstead. What are your thoughts ahead of that? Do you want to try and stay in Cups or is your main focus the league at the moment? No, if this is the Velocity trophy, isn't it? Yeah. So I think the mentality of Leatherhead now is that we try to win every competition. We try to win every game. I think that we're in the Velocity Trophy 
the obviously the FA Trophy, the Surrey Senior Cup, and the Southern Combination Cup. I think so. Look, um, I've been fortunate enough in my career to to win honours and win titles and win promotion, and that won't change here. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and say it's going to take two or three years. We want to do it quickly. I'm impatient, and. I have a big ambition to bring a trophy to Leatherhead in the first season. And so the great thing about Tuesday is that it will continue to allow us to work. It will continue to allow us to improve. And then we will prep up for what's going to be a tough game in Merston on Saturday. And I think in Merston and in Leatherhead, you're going to see two teams that at the moment are at the bottom. But I promise you, having seen what I've seen already here, and knowing Peter Denny as I do, there'll be two teams that will be at the top at the end of the season. So it'll be a, a very difficult game, I'm sure. Yep. And have you got any last messages for the fans after today's game? I'd, I'd just like to thank everybody for the reception that they've given me. Uh, look, um, I understand it's been a it's been a turbulent few days. Uh, as I said in the fans forum. Whatever fallout has been is, is not my argument. I, I've spoken to Luke. And, and to Luke's credit, what Luke has left here is an absolutely tremendous bunch of men who want to do well. I don't think anybody will ever forget what Luke achieved here. And last season, he achieved a lot. The, the expectations of, of Leatherhead when he arrived were probably they were going to get relegated. And even though he did ultimately, my God, he put the pride back into this football club. This season hasn't quite gone quite so well, but that's football. And I know that he's going to bounce back and have a great career. Um, for us, we just need to get our heads down in the dressing room and work and improve and work and improve. And in my experience in football tells me that you don't allow the results to cloud your judgment. And my judgment is for 75 minutes today, we probably had a good control of the game. Not complete control, but a good control. And for 15 minutes, we lost control and a very good chipsted side took advantage of us. So we'll congratulate them, we'll take it on the chin, and we look forward to Tuesday. Yep, thank you. Thank you.